morning, everybody. We're near Belle Plaine, Minnesota, just down the road from Shakopee. I'm waiting for my 5 p.m. pickup appointment. I might be able to get loaded earlier. I'm not sure yet. All I can do is wait. So now we just wait. It was the only appointment time they had available. So uh, we took it. Very likely I might get snuck in, but it'll be like a last minute thing if someone else doesn't show up or uh, something like that. You know, if they have an opening, maybe they're ahead of schedule, they want to sneak another truck in, they can quickly get me to run over there. We'll see what happens. Other than that, I guess I'm going to get comfy back here. I'm all caught up in my videos for once. I actually don't have anything to do. Maybe I'll uh, detail the truck a little bit. It needs it, because I, I don't usually have time for that, so clean things up a bit and uh, watch some YouTube, maybe have a nap, we'll see what happens. Traffic cone Josh coming at you. We got in early. We were able to convince them to get us in at, well I got here about 12.30. It's 1.30 now, I'm loaded, I'm tied down, I'm just going to grab my paperwork and head on back. Might even get back. We should get back to Winnipeg tonight yet. I hope so anyway. We'll see. And off we go once again. Gonna weasel our way through the big city of Minneapolis. Just sort of slip right through here on the west side. Traffic's not too bad, which is good. Got a load of shingles on my trailer. Somebody's redoing their roof or building a new one or somebody's just ordering extra stock I don't know I don't really care it's on my trailer and that's all I care about I'm taking it to Winnipeg I'll deliver it tomorrow uh, mid-morning I think they only start receiving at about 10 a.m. I'll, I'll give them a call though and find out we're gonna get to old, uh, get old blue wash today we're gonna go to the blue beacon in Fargo we're gonna go grab ourselves a shower there as well, fill up the tanks. It'll be a nice little day of cruising, cleaning stuff up. It's gonna be a good day. And we got loaded like th three hours early. So that's awesome.
Big shout out to David from Winkler. He was parked right over there, driving a grain truck. He watched my videos, he came to say hi to me. We're here in Alexandria, Minnesota. I went in for a shower and a haircut. Oh, I'm going to show you my load that I got here. Still not cleared for the border. Every time I pick up one of these loads, I'll tell you. Ugh, it smells like a sewer out here. Oh well, these are uh, the shingles. This is a good load to haul. It's not too heavy. I'm sitting at about 71, 72,000 pounds. They have a new entrance here. This used to all be parking spots across here. Now they, they took away your parking spots. They made them paid parking spots, the ones that remain, and they put a driveway in here. I guess less confusing? Kind of nice for me though, because I just drove right in. I was able, was able to park right there. Yeah, load of shingles. It's gonna be a good, it's, a, it's been a good day. It's gonna be a good evening now. Guess what's next? Guess what's next? Old Blue's bath time. We're gonna try to shiny you back up. It's that truck. The truck right beside me smells like sewer. Like number two, sewer. Beginning to think all that stuff down there is not mud on the tanks. What in the world? That's disgusting. Sorry, I just put that picture in your mind. Just, uh, you know, telling you how my day is going. That's a vlog. Somebody made a mess on that truck. It looks like a brand new Volvo too, and this thing's just destroyed. Look at this, the, the quarter fender's gone on it. And the tank is all just destroyed. Right here. Look at that. It smells like literal poop. How do you destroy a truck so fast? It's a brand new Volvo. Huh. Some people are very talented. So I may have not sent in all the right paperwork. There was two pages, but they looked identical in my defense. Almost, at a quick glance. Guess I was a little rushed to get out of there. So I sent one page in, they're looking for the second page. That's why they haven't cleared me yet. So I sent in the second page now. That's embarrassing. Here I am <laughs> blaming everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. Okay, so now that I got all the paperwork I have, hopefully that'll be enough. They'll be able to clear my load for the border. And by the time we get there, we can cross. Let's get going again. Got myself a coffee. Here are you. I haven't had a coffee in a while. I haven't had one today yet. I don't think I had one yesterday either. What is going on? Got myself some cookies though. That was a bad idea. to going out this way. This is the old entry and exit.
see Minnesota's joined the dark side with these roundabouts. and chemicals here they'll be able to do something for me I'm not gonna leave until they do <laughs> there'll probably be a little bit of a lineup at this time but we might get lucky sure which door they want me in or which one's gonna be done first and there's no one behind me right now so I'm just gonna wait right here until they wave me towards a specific bay and okay, maybe I'll move forward a little bit I want them to know I mean business which one do you want me in I don't know which one was in there first I guess it doesn't really matter they're both gonna be done sooner or later anyway I believe there's no one in line. It's a beautiful evening. Everybody's starting to come off the road now. Everybody's gonna wanna wash everything off their trucks. There's no one here. All right, they're bringing me in now. Oh, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Let's control 
Oh, windows are closed? How about that? Oh, oh, oh. I've never been so excited for a truck wash. Make sure that our trailer doesn't hit the side there. news we're gonna have to get it repolished they did the best they could it's stuck on there it is stuck on there it's not gonna be shining again until we get it redone and repolished that's so disappointing because that's my mistake that was my mistake the money was good. They're asking me here if it was worth it. I said, well, for the money, it was worth it, I guess, but I'm gonna have to invest that money right back into repolishing the truck. And I, I don't budget to polish the truck twice in a year. So it's probably gonna have to wait until next year now, and I'm just gonna have to drive a truck that doesn't shine until then. It bothers me, because we're only like halfway through summer, so. And the guy I know who does my, uh, does my polish, he worked really hard and did a really good job polishing it and I just went and ruined it. All good, thank you. I'll show you in a second here, I'm just gonna pull out. <sighs> All right, let's go show you what I did. Okay, so the truck itself is clean. I mean, they tried everything on it. Stained. It's clean, cleaner though, right? But definitely not shining. And look at all this damage from all the rocks. You see all those? The only way you can fix that is to get these cut and sanded. This one too. And look at these tanks. That is, uh, no kind of wash is gonna take that off. The rest of the truck is clean though. Look at it from this angle and it looks great. <laughs> but, this side, the steps look a little better here. Definitely stained though, and these tanks. Well, guys, learn from me, okay? Learn from me. If you value the polish on your truck, don't take your truck up north on the gravel roads. Do not do it. Look at this too. See that, all those marks? So it needs more than just a polish. It needs a cut and polish. Is that the technical term for I don't polish trucks really? Is that what you call it? Sand it down, polish it. It needs a... Uh... Shoot. Okay. Well, that's going to happen next year. So, uh... Learned my lesson. Learn from me. Don't do what I did. We're not gonna dwell on that. That is gonna be disappointing every time I look at that. You know what I need to learn to do? I need to learn to polish my own truck. But when do I have time to do that? When I'm at home, I can't spend a whole day in my shop polishing. I gotta go home and spend it with my family. That's why I pay people to do it for me, right? Because to me, my time is valuable. That's why I pay others to do some work on my truck when I'm at home, because I want to go home and spend time with my family. We'll figure this out. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. It's a disappointment, but hey, that's life. Sometimes there's disappointments in life. You just got to find a way forward and learn from your mistakes. I had a hard lesson to learn here. And it's going to be expensive to fix. <laughs> 
Kate, let's get going. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Turn the lights on. Motor and gear. Let's get out of here. Expensive lessons with Trucker Josh. Da, 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 da. How to waste your money. I'm good at that apparently. Well, I can't say it's a waste of money because I didn't make good money. It's just the, the extra money that I made is now gonna go back into, maybe I should. Maybe I should just repolish the truck. I did make good money going up there. Maybe I should just reinvest it right now. Maybe I should. Spend the money, right? But no, no. I promised myself that I'm not gonna spend any more big amounts of money and no more big purchases other than my one polish per year until we have a house. Yes, I like driving a shiny truck, but my family needs a bigger home. And that has to be put first. So first, we put money away and save and get a bigger home. Then we talk about maybe getting polished twice a year, maybe. But hey, if I can be patient, the rest of this summer and winter will be a reminder every time I look at the truck, not to do that again. more expensive next year let's say fifteen hundred dollars this random number just thrown out there probably around fifteen hundred dollars or more to get it done if I spend that money now that is fifteen hundred dollars less that we have in our account for a down payment on our bigger house and we're planning on having more kids as soon as we can so I can't wait we don't need a bigger house just yet but we will soon I don't know if you guys in Canada have been looking around at housing prices lately, but they're astronomical through the roof. They're pretty good in Manitoba compared to other places, but I want to do it right. Priorities, I have to put the family first. Having a shiny truck is nice, but it doesn't make you money. It just makes you feel good, right? I'm sorry, old blue. I messed up. I messed up. I'll make it right, okay? We might just have to wait a little while, but I'll make it right.
we are at Pembina, North Dakota. The Canadian border is right over there, those lights. I didn't get confirmation on my load clearing. So we're staying stateside for now. We might get clearance yet in the next little bit. But uh, chances are we'll probably just cross in the morning. Old Blue's looking all right. Definitely clean. But definitely not shining the way I'd like her to. That's okay. We'll live. She's running, right? That's what's important. My load is still all on my trailer, every single last little bit of it. That's a good sign. I need it all to come with me. Headache rack's looking, well, it is cleaner than it was. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. It was a good day. It was a good day. We got quite a bit done. I was hoping to get over the border yet. Maybe I will. We'll see where we end up first thing tomorrow morning. If the vlog starts on the other side of the border, first thing tomorrow morning, we got cleared and I was able to cross yet. So I'm gonna stick around here for a little bit until I run out of hours and then I guess I'll just go to sleep if nothing's happened. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna deliver those shingles into Winnipeg and then head back to Kenora for another tarp load of lumber going back down to Minnesota. We're just going to keep on going. Whatever they throw at me for the rest of the month and pretty much the rest of the summer, aside from September long, we're just going to be go, 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 go. I'm going to be painting our house. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to be painting our house on September long if the weather's good, which means uh, well, hopefully we can get it done in one weekend. It's a pretty small house. We'll talk about that as the time comes closer. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and drive safe. See you tomorrow.